Hello and welcome. This is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. I've got another great pattern for you, a fantastic yarn to make it with. And then towards the end of the show, I'm going to tell you about a project you can help me with. All right, to get started, this is called Fiala by Isabel Kramer. Isabel Kramer is one of my favorite designers. Her things, I'm just drawn to them. They're very wearable. So as you can see here, this is stunning and you can wear it with anything from jeans and shorts to a skirt or nice pants. It's wonderful. Now the yarn is sensational. It's baby yak, but I'm going to get to that in just a little bit. As far as the pattern goes, the project is done with the yarn held double so that you can use a size four needles for the ribbings and five for the rest of it. So it moves along nicely, very enjoyable to do. Holding it double was no problem at all. It is worked top down and you do a contiguous sleeve method. So as you start, you end up working all of this. And if you've never done Isabel Kramer before, do not worry, her instructions are perfect. She lays everything out line by line and all you have to do is do it. So usually when I'm doing the top of a garment like this, I save it for sitting at the desk in the studio, do a couple rows a day, really pay attention to them. But I know what's coming because as often with her things, and it is with this one, once we got down to here and we put these sleeves on a stitch holder, it was just days of knitting in the round. And it was so fun because I was doing it everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Airports, TV, and you get that nice speed that you can do. Then it finishes off with some ribbing at the bottom. You have to then go pick up your sleeves, finish those out, and then finally you do a ribbed collar here. I loved every minute of it. Now, I used the yarn she called for. She called for Baby Yak. This is from M Yak. It feels fantastic. If you've never worked with Baby Yak, it is the softest thing I've felt so far. It is amazing. Now, when you read the card that comes with your Baby Yak yarn, and this is from M Yak, it also makes me excited because it says it was ethically combed from the Baby Yaks on the Tibetan Plateau. The yarn does not go through a depigmentation process. So I do believe this is natural. The spinning for the yarn takes place in the Italian Alps. So have fun telling that story to your friends. I did. Anyway, the thing I'm getting at is that it is stunning, stunning yarn. Because this color is oatmeal and it's a simple color, usually with simple colors, I get bored and I want something else going on. I never, ever felt that way. It felt like a real treat every time I was working with it because it is just so lovely. And then now I have this garment, wonderful. And as I look at it here even, I see this slight halo that is just beautiful. I think you'll really enjoy it. Now about these charts, they're simple. If you just go through them row by row, it is not a problem. In fact, I worked these sleeves while watching TV, the charts were that doable. You know, I just had to keep a marker at where I was on the chart. It's a six row repeat. So actually your brain kind of really starts knowing what's going on while you're doing it. It was a joy to make. Cannot wait to wear it. Winter is coming and even in Florida, yes, I'll be able to wear this. So it is super great. Now I got my yarn from woolandcompany.com. Check it out. And I would recommend do not use a different yarn. I almost did because at their in-person store, I did not find this. And I'm so glad that I ended up going with the yarn that was called for because it made it even that much more special. However, it is your project. Do it how you like. All right, so to move on to the Fiber Fun Talk, here's how you can help me. I am compiling as much information I can from firsthand stories of how fiber art has helped you with anything, even if you just wanna share your joy. But if you wanna go into more in-depth stories, that's great. I know how it's helped me and how I've used it to get through life, through the good and the bad and the everything and how it makes me feel every day even. Like I'll tell my husband, it's like therapy. <laughs> and um, he knows I'm doing it all the time. He's good with it. Uh, 
but also when I look further for actual research, medical research on it, what it's done for people, it's tremendous. It is just wonderful for reducing anxiety and helping with our creative side. I also personally know that I get a dopamine hit every time I see an inch or two come out of this and I'm like, ah, my project's coming along. So we know that feels good. But I also know there's been medical studies to show that it has helped smokers and addicts. It has helped people with eating disorders. I know that it staves off mental decline and so much more. So I know all of you know how great it is. And usually when people start talking to me, I can share with them one-on-one. -on -one. But what I wanna do is compile all of our information and have a nice presentation and introduce that to different organizations around Tampa Bay to see if they are interested in sharing it with their people. So whether it is a therapy center, a school, a business, all of this can help people and especially if they're dealing with stress, but it's just a joyful thing to do regardless. So if I have your stories, I can also include that. There is no time limit. The stuff I get now, I will put together now. But if you're watching this five or 10 years from now, go ahead and send it to me. I do believe I'm gonna collect this through a lifetime so that I have a record of these wonderful things from people that I can continue to share with others. You can send it via print, or if you wanna do a video clip, just know that if you submit it, it will be used publicly. If you wanna stay anonymous, you can just say, don't use my name or don't give me your name. And I will just share the story of a person. So thank you for whatever you do. I put out the note on Instagram and within an hour, somebody had sent me an email and it actually made me teary because it was so beautiful. And then I was like, I know, I know how great it is. So bring on the information. I will love it and I will use it for the best. All right, everybody, I hope you take this on. You will be happy the entire time. And don't forget, you will have baby yak yarn that you can share with your friends and get the ooh la la. So happy knitting, the Frolla sweater by Isabel Kramer. And thanks for watching.